I'm going to be getting my DNA tested. I've been putting this off because Andrew, I do not want to be cloned, but here I am risking it all to see what's going on. What is up everyone, it's Roos. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is 1907 Keep coupon code Russo. Intelligent elephant carbon for the spritz noises. And I have new spritzes over there. So stay tuned for the new intelligent cologne series. Today is a video about PFS, post finasteride syndrome, post SSRI, sexual dysfunction. Andrew, everyone gets mad that I put three S's. I've been doing that constantly for like months now. Like, SSSRI, sexual Like, it like generated like 50 comments correcting me. So I'm just going to keep saying SSS. Post Accutane syndrome, all these are epigenetic changes that seem to be pretty much permanent unless you do extreme measures to try and reverse them back. As far as my update video, it's about to happen. I'm going to feature this and then the next video in this lineup will be the video that everyone wants to see, which that video will probably be like an hour long and a very long project for me to do. I'm trying one more thing and then I will showcase it all but the last thing i'm doing is getting my genes tested now this is useful for every single person watching this video because if you get your genes tested you know what mutations react to certain compounds drugs if you're predisposed to certain things things you need to watch out for as well as a balancing act of supplements you could implement according to your custom genes. So I'll have Andrew throw up, but I feature Dr. Tyler Panzer on this channel discussing all my symptoms over this detrimental couple months that I have been through. And it's been linked all the way back to the root cause being epigenetic changes, but there's one specific root cause that I will mention in the video that I think most people suffer from with cascading other side effects. There's multiple levels to these syndromes people all don't have the same side effects. So as far as a universal cure goes, you know, my two senses, I think everyone is suffering from different things in these syndromes are all relatable and they're all at different levels. And again, not to hint too much, but into some of my recovery, um, I've jumped through multiple levels that I have researched that other people are suffering from where some people, you know, they're, they're at the top of it. Other people are at the bottom. You have to work your way up through different implementations of things. So I don't think there's a one quick fix for this sort of thing. I think getting your genes tested and seeing what's all overexpressed, underexpressed, what mutations you have outside of the disorder. And overall, if you're just a general, you know, healthy person watching this, it's always great to have a supplement regime rooted around your genetics. So I'm using self decode DNA testing by Dr. Panzer, and I'm going to be getting my DNA tested. I've been putting this off because Andrew, I do not want to be cloned, but here I am risking it all to see what's going on. So I'm going to do this test. We are going to go through my genes live on camera and discuss what is messed up personally for me. But this is begging these communities. Share this video on Reddit. If you all get this, then there's a lot of collective data around the epigenetic changes that happened. Everyone can get this. I really encourage all of you suffering to spend the money, get this, have Dr. Tyler Pandra, who's a real doctor, discuss with you. And this is not a plug for him. He didn't even know I'm gonna do this. He didn't know I'm gonna do this. I just wanna see all the collective data and then we can start piecing together what's going on with certain individuals, right? Once we see the similarities and we overall, instead of, you know, doing all this weird schizophrenic shit in these forms that I'm reading, you know, we at least start with a DNA test. I'm testing them at the end because I was gun ho to get out of the beginning of that hell. I think a lot of people know that I'm talking much better and certain things I have resolved pretty good, right? Am I 100% fuck no? Do I have a more bearable day to day? Yeah. Was my day on fucking bearable? Yeah, it was for like one to three months, literally unbearable. So again, I can sleep. It's been nice to, you know, sleep again. And you can see that my dopamine has come back from the little frequency change you guys witnessed. But I really want to see everyone suffering. I've understood the severity of the suffering firsthand. I think we need to all do epigenetic testing, genetic testing, and 
have a doctor, not me, go through the genes, pick out what can be unmethylated, methylated, the mutations you personally have to your genetics, your individual supplement regime around your mutations. If there's stuff overexpressed, underexpressed, he's gonna go through all of that and we're gonna see the similarities between all of them, right? You have all you guys in your little separate tribes where long C word, you know, the post finasteride, post Accutane, post SSSSSSSRI sexual dysfunction, all seems to be like the same sort of thing going on in the root cause that I think it is that I'll discuss in the next video on this. But if we could all collectively get this, go to the regular Western medical system and be like, I think it's time to have epigenetic editing open up to the public to restore people's lives. I feel like this is a good way to correlate tons of evidence around multiple different compounds destroying people's lives, causing people to kill themselves, then we can get moving more than hiding on Reddit. I applaud all of you who have gotten on camera and talked about it at this point. It's time all of you get on camera and talk about it and we move on raising awareness in the actual social circles. It's like bodybuilding. It's kind of annoying for me. I have, I'm digging through form boards all again. It feels like I'm like 15, 16 again, trying to get my drug bodybuilding info where I'm trying to get my side effect data collection info. And it's all these people on the form boards that I don't know what they look like. I don't know if they actually recovered truly. And it's all hidden between, you know, these users who are afraid to come on and talk about these horrible disorders to where it gets labeled as nocebo effect, no shocker, right? Why can't we all come together? I feel like one way is moving towards these tests Check them out. I'll link Panzer in the description below if you want to get in contact with him. I'll see you guys in my next video.